Hi guys, so today I am going to be doing a good old fashioned sit on your bed haul. Um, hopefully you can't hear too much background noise. I say this like all the time but I've got the washing machine on and my boyfriend's watching Spider-Man on Disney Plus. So you might hear some noises, I'm sorry. Anyway, I would like to first start off with the cool bandanas. So a lot of us in lockdown in a minute, having issues with our hair. I mean, to be honest, I'm not really struggling with my hair because I cut my own hair, dye my own hair, do my own thing, so I'm not struggling. But I'm using it as an excuse to get really cool bandanas. So, I will talk about the one I'm wearing in a minute, but I kind of want to do it in some sort of semblance of an order. So the first um, company, both of these were kind of recommended to me by people I work with. So there's this girl on reception. She is amazing. And she always has the cutest like 1950s vibe with her hair. And she kind of tops it off with these really cool bandanas. So I've been asking, you know, where do you buy your bandanas from? They look absolutely stunning. And she mentioned a brand called Bad Hair Days. So I will link that in the description down below, as well as the other um, hair shop that I'm going to be talking to you about. Now, Bad Hair Days, Hair Days, sorry, I don't know if they have an Etsy, but I ordered straight through their um, website. But I'll link their Instagram down below if you're interested. So I got two headbands from them. The first one is called What a Nightmare and it was £6.50 and the fun thing about I think all of these are there is that they're reversible so the What a Nightmare one is obviously inspired by Tim Burton's The Nightmare Before Christmas so it's got Jack Skeleton, the Pumpkin King all over it as soon as I saw this I was like yes I need to get some of these they are stunning on the reverse side it's got a black and white stripe pattern I almost feel like this also could be a little bit of a nod to Beetlejuice um, if it had a pop of green and purple in it but um, yeah it's a nice just simple it doesn't scream Nightmare Before Christmas if you didn't want that vibe that day but I got it specifically for this really beautiful um, pattern they kind of look um, like school ties like the way they end and how thick they are I didn't expect them to look like this and I think when I first went looking I assumed they were like big square bandanas that you fold up and roll but this honestly kind of makes it a bit easier because you don't have too much excess um, material if you're not after that that day me particularly I get really like bad headaches quite easily and sometimes a headband if I do it too tight will kind of hurt and add to that pain so I do find if I've got too much material on the scarf and I've like tied it tight to make sure it's snug and doesn't unravel that causes pressure on the head and um, so it's nice that there's less material it's kind of straight to the point but I do also like the big ones sometimes it just depends on the vibe but these ones I'm really happy with also from bad hair days I got the heritage bandana which was 550 and this is a beautiful pattern on this one it looks like so absolutely gorgeous it reminds me of like old but restored like granny wallpaper i love it and the back side of that is just this really lovely kind of lime fresh evergreen how you ever color you want to describe this to be but of course i got it for the really cool funky pattern side and i've been wearing these at work i've been wearing them at home absolutely loved them i forgot to mention with bad hair days i've got to say they have got really lovely customer service because i was constantly in communication with the owner badger i believe badger i'm sorry i don't know how to pronounce it but it's a really pretty name sounding it looks nice anyway she was so kind because it was a little while hello i'm filming a video i'm gonna edit this out let me finish this what do you want what are you doing <laughs> anyway i was in communication with her because it had been a while since i ordered maybe past a week and to be honest it's not too long because i was assuming with like the post service at the minute things would take longer and i was understanding of that but i just wanted to ask her you know generally speaking um how soon do you expect things to be here and she was shocked that they weren't there already so i was like oh i wasn't even like saying anything i just wanted to know when your expect all expected arrival date would be so i could keep an eye out you know um and she said i'm really sorry they should be there already um but what i'm gonna do is send you out another set and I was like oh my god no I can wait it's fine she was she was so lovely but basically I offered you know would you like me to pay at least post and packaging for this because it's you know it's not your fault it's just maybe lost in the post or something I don't know she was like no she was so like very kind about it she was like no please let me this is you know not her fault it's not for her fault at all but she just wanted to make sure I was happy and content 
and I said well if the original pair of hairbands come up would you like me to send them back I would not mind at all she went no no give them to someone you'd love so the lady the girl on, um, on reception um, the, the person that you know told me about this brand I gave them to her and she was very happy <laughs> um, and the uh, you know so I did end up with like two pairs of the different hairbands um, so the original ones came like the same day as the other brand's hairbands came and I was like I'm so confused but then I remembered I was like oh they must have somehow floated from the other and I gave them to the girl that recommended the brand to me and I just let her know um, the owner know that they arrived are you sure I can give this on to someone else and she was like yes yes please I'd love it if it would make someone else happy and so she was just really kind and I just wanted to mention that customer service goes such a long way and I really respected and appreciate that even though I'd have no problems of spending the extra posting packaging or, you know, sending them back to her. She was just a really lovely lady. <laughs> so thank you. And um, I posted a picture on Instagram kind of saying thank you for the recommendation. I absolutely love this brand, tagging them in that. And my other uh, work colleague, my friend from work, she said, um, if you like bandanas and stuff, I recommend Miss Miley's, which is also a friend of hers. And this is the sort of card for that I tend to use these things as little bookmarks so I do keep them and it also has information on the back which is awesome it says um, cool wash only 30 degrees don't tumble dry wash separately from darks and then they've got an Etsy shop so this is where I bought their, their headbands from and the Etsy shop is Miss Miley's which looks like that and they've also got Instagram which is Miss Miley's 2019 so let me just get my invoice ready so I can tell you pricing and stuff it, Etsy by default kind of makes things in American dollars so I don't know the uh, British pound equivalent so I do apologise if that bothers you so the first thing that I have is on my head right now sorry I can't show you the best but it's basically a really fun jellyfish um, underwater pattern and it's called the neon jellyfish self tie head scarf hair tie headband hairband vintage head scarf festival wear holiday wear kids and adults just to kind of get the the thing out there the point across and that one said it was £10.41 absolutely adore this I think the back side is literally yeah it's pretty much just blue but it's a really nice complimentary blue so that when it peeks through in your bow you get flashes of vibrant blue which kind of goes with the underwater theme which is really lovely so it is it's got depths of um, deep blues woven in with the patterns of the jellyfish kind of swimming around or imagine they'd be swimming around if they were animated um, and then following on I have a really funky Daleks one I don't know why I said it like that Daleks is what I meant to say I've got a hair clip attached to it because of how I wore it last um, but this one says it's Doctor Who Dalek self tie reversible headscarf and then it's got other you know keywords just to get the uh, keywords across to their potential buyers and it says like things like exterminate Daleks and it's a really really cute pattern actually absolutely love this I think it is stunning I'm a big Doctor Who fan and the reverse side more of a boring pattern for me personally I don't know if it's intended to wear reverse but it's just a brown sometimes brown works but I much prefer the pattern side so that one was 1041 as well and then lastly I got one of the hard kind of headbands so she has a lot of Harry Potter inspired um, bows and I used to really love bows when I was uh, a teenager I think actually and this one is the Harry Potter inspired bow headband and it is Ravenclaw which is my house and it looks like this I think I would like it if the bow itself was less big like puffy it kind of reminds me of little pillows if in case I need to like rest my head when I'm sleep when I'm tired in the day but um, it is really lovely really well made by the looks of things um, I've enjoyed wearing it uh, when I went to get some shopping I know the ladies in the pharmacy and as I was obviously passing obviously with social distance in mind they just kind of spoke from afar they said oh my god what is that on your head it's so cute um, and I said it's my Ravenclaw Harry Potter headband uh, and I told them where it's from because uh, one of the ladies their daughter might like it so yeah I would just say I think even if this is the style um, the owner of Miss Miley's lights I think maybe she had options of slightly smaller less poofy ones for a more subtler look would be quite nice as well because I do feel a bit fantastical when I'm wearing it but I do think it's super cute and really well made so those are the fun quirky headscarves that you might want to try and check out if you're um, having some hair suffering days due to not being able to get to a hairdresser obviously at this time or if you just want to make some fun pops of colour pops of character to your hairstyle 
that'll be good. And then I also, um, I know there's a lot going on with Debenhams at the moment. Wow, there was a big old seagull that just, it was running on the roof and then it just tore down. I saw everything. Anyway, uh, Debenhams has been having some issue. I think they might be going into liquidation or something. I don't know what's happened by the point this video is uploaded because it's kind of like an extra bonus. I'll edit it when I edit it. Sorry. Uh, but I really had the urge. I saw that on Instagram, the Kat Von D uh, holographic, you know, that Alchemist palette? That was for like £10 in places. And I remember when that first came out, I really wanted it, but I'm pretty sure it was like 30 something. And at that time, I didn't want to spend that money and I just kind of forgot. Since then, to be fair, I have got the Aurora Anastasia Beverly Hills highlight palette, which is pretty much similar to that. And I've got like cheaper alternatives. For some reason, I was really fixated on it. The Anastasia Beverly Hills one I actually got from TK Maxx. But anyway, I saw that this was like £10 or something. And I thought, let me go on Debenhams because that's the only place I think that I know of in the UK that I am comfortable buying from sells Kat Von D and obviously of late Kat Von D has recently sold all her shares to Kendo Beauty which I think was her business partner in the makeup industry and now they're Kendo Vegan Beauty something it looks similar but not and uh, yeah I'm very confused so I wanted to get it in case they completely discontinued it and I couldn't get it but I couldn't find it singularly so I found it in a set instead and I'm happy with what I got because I purchased two separate things. Both are kind of little sets. I, I'll show you in a minute. But then because I bought those, or because of how much I spent, which really wasn't that much that I was expecting it would be, I got like a free summer gift, I think they call it. So let's actually show you what I'm talking about. I'm wearing um, all of it, most of it at the minute. I'll kind of talk you through um, what I'm wearing as and when I remember. So the first thing that obviously I was interested in getting is the set that had the highlighter in it. And this is the Crazy For Kittens Travel Friendly Favourite Set. So it includes the Mini Everlasting Liquid Lipstick, the Mini Tattoo Liner, the Mini Go Big or Go Home Volumizer Mascara and the, apparently it's a free gratis Gratitude Alchemist Holographic Palette. So I wonder if the Crazy For Kittens was originally just those three products and then this one was included I don't know so um, I'm really happy because all of these I have never tried right so I've tried the liquid lipsticks and I really do love them so I was happy to have a mini of it but I haven't tried any of the others so this is the shade I am wearing on my lips right now it is in the shade double dare and it is really cute nice pinky kind of tone kind of nudie pink but a bit brighter than a nude and then the eyeliner I'm also wearing today I've gone a little bit messy to be fair but um it's so fine it's the tip of it is so perfect like oh my god I can't get it out of the package <laughs> it's just a pen sort of thing and I haven't used a pen in ages um but I love the results I won't open the mascara because I'm in the middle of using benefits the one that's kind of space like that one at the minute but this looks like a fat tube um and i like the, the embossed sticky out you write in on this but yeah this is the go big and go home or go home um mascara it's really funny because i remember someone from uni that used to say that and i didn't really understand <laughs> what it meant but i kind of get the the idea behind it now so that is really cool because colors uh, the liquid lipstick i haven't tried that color before and i actually really like it i don't think i've tried that color before and of course there's two other things i want to try the mascara for the longest but i didn't want to pay full price i'm always like that i like little samples um whether or not you get the best credit for your money do you know what i'm saying i don't know that's another story but obviously the show or the highlight of the show <laughs> uh, that i actually wanted to get was the alchemist holographic palette this is a face and eye highlighter palette and I'm wearing this on my face and eyes. So I kept my glasses off just in case you want a closer look. But I have this shade, Pink Opal, as my cheek highlight. And then I've got, I think I actually might have mixed them. I think I've got Ultraviolet Amethyst on top maybe. And I've got that on my nose as well. And my boyfriend said it was a bit purple my nose so I think I went right over the top with the holographic highlighter so yeah I kind of need to fix that I don't think I have to be fair um, and then on my eyelids I have sort of dabbed on the middle 
that same shade, um, the Ultraviolet Amethyst. And then in the centre, on a fluffy brush, I just buffed in the Green Emerald. And I think Blue Sapphire I had on my cheeks yesterday, and it was a bit too intense. I think I should have used like a less dense brush. But um, they are really beautiful, and I think these are colours. They're like those transformative colours that look really good on like a black base. I've done it before with different brand and stuff, but that sort of concept I absolutely love. Um, but yeah, I think it is a really pretty combination, very striking, very holographic, and I'm glad to have had this, even though I do have alternatives. But I was just, the temptation was too strong, it was too strong. So moving on, I got this other little set of goodies. This is the Mini Studded Kiss Cream Lipstick Set, Perfect Nudes. Um, and it's got four nude colours in there. So, pop that open. I believe I wore one of these yesterday. I wore which one? It must have been a dark brown. Yes, I think I watched. I wore Hawk Kind, which nope, sorry, Hawk Wind, which is a dark brown. I love these. They're so cute. This smells so good. So I will swatch that for you. Absolutely beautiful. I have one other previous to this haul. Um, mini sunny lipstick and it was a sparkly purple one I've still got I can't remember what it's called um, but yeah that is that one Hawk Wind and then we have Ophelia or oh, I like that name and I'll put that just next to it so this is like a true kind of when you think nude you typically think this sort of nude or I do anyway which is a nude that frightens me because that is a way too light for my skin tone but lip liners are powerful mighty things Oh, then we've got a lighter nude even still and this one is called oh bow and arrow i think this is a much loved color um in this collection actually it kind of looks deeper that's so weird it looks deeper than the sticker kind of claims that's just above the ophelia shade right there that's really pretty actually and then we have piaf piaf not sure and that is the deepest brown I think and I think it's got a bit of shimmer in it it's got like purple wow that's really pretty it's got purple kind of holographic reflexes and like a pink shift to it I don't know how well you can see when I move my hand but those are the four colors which are absolutely stunning really do like those and as I said because I purchased those two uh, sets I got a free goodie but I forgot that I had a little invoice here so let me see if I can tell you the prices so I believe the crazy for kittens set was £21.33 and I think the perfect lip set was £22 um, yeah that's what it looks like and the free gift is called the KVD summer gift I think it's a 2019 um, and it comes with this absolutely gorgeous bag like a makeup bag and it says cap on D on the side of it and then inside you get three little goodies which is nice so I've now got a new travel mirror because I got rid of my old little mirrors I used to have a little mirror in every bag but I just don't seem to do it anymore so I have this um, it's just got the logo on the back and it's actually quite I can see my whole face quite comfortably and then yeah it's a nice clear uh, quality mirror and then I got another one of the um, mascaras. This one is its just a volumizing mascara. The colors in Trooper Black. And it's also uh, the Go Big or Go Home mascara. I don't know if she has any other mascaras other than that. But so I've got two of those now. But it's so strange because this one is in this weird like tubey tube. How strange. And this one is like an actual bottle of it. So... I don't know, I think they're the exact same, yeah, they're the same shade and everything, they've just got different packaging. Interesting, it'd be interesting to see if there's a difference in how they work. I guess I'd be able to actually squeeze the product out when I get to the end, which is quite a cool concept. And then lastly, it comes with another little mini lipstick, and this is in the colour Lovecraft. And this one, if I can open it, of course, looks like so just seeing if there's a difference with the other ones like they're all the same size mascara threw me off and that's another kind of nudie pink shade I'll put that sideways so you can see the difference oh it's really creamy and that's this one 
over here, Lovecraft. I'm assuming inspired by the author H.P. Lovecraft. So those are all the goodies that I've recently treated myself to. I've not really been spending, obviously. There's nowhere to go to spend. And I'm one of those people that like to kind of look at stuff and test things and try it out and um, then purchase. But sometimes, obviously in this situation, you can't do that. Um, hopefully soon things will go slowly back to normal. But I just felt like I had the means to do it so I wanted to support particularly some small businesses when it came to the headbands but also um, get some makeup that I've been craving of late so thank you so so much for watching this video um, let me know your thoughts have you been wearing headbands funky styles to kind of pass the days um, if you're still buying makeup I know obviously there's more important things to be purchasing like food and such of late but um, if you've got like a craving of a particular product you're after when everything hopefully goes back to normal let me know and yeah I'll speak to you in another video soon bye